Hey guys, I'm going to go over the wallet comparisons, holder analyzers, and graphical charts that we have implemented on nftnet.com. These are 100% for free for now. And actually we have implemented quite many graphics and comparisons in order to let you analyze NFTs in a more analytical way. You can access to these features by switching to analysis part. So basically if you click on analytics, it switches to the default page. And if you click on analysis, it switches to the charts and holder comparisons. Let's start with the blue chip comparison. Right now, what we are doing is we are analyzing Ninja Squad NFT. And in blue chip comparison, we compare this collection to the big collections with a lot of volume and see how many mutual holders each collection have so in this case cyberkongs has the most mutual owners with ninja squad nft they have 56 mutual holders and these 56 mutual owners have 516 items in ninja squad uh, there are some doodles there are some dead fellas there are some nft worlds there are some muffers there are some board app and mutant yacht eight club members as well so most likely these guys are less likely to be paper hands so when you're analyzing projects it makes sense if the big names from big projects are holding uh, many items from the project you are interested in so uh, if there were like many board ape map yacht club members there is actually quite many 16 but let's say if it was 160 uh, then actually other people would also be more interested in this project because you know how the hype works these guys mostly have many followers on their twitter accounts and people actually watch their wallets so if they keep buying from a project people actually get curious and they start buying from that project as well so this is a very important indication then there is the holder comparison in the holder comparison you will see how many total items are owned by this wallet in either one of these collections so this guy has 44 ninjas and he also owns a one board ape yacht club this one has four ninjas and he has uh, three board ape yacht club uh, nfts let's check this one the first one with the most uh, ninjas actually this is anil parlatan i know him uh, we were in a bidding for a couple of days ago it was a donation nft for uh ukraine he won it by the way uh, i will show you which nft it is uh, it was this one he won it with 3.5 uh, wrapped ethereum uh, my offer was i think 2.5 let's check uh, right now there is no current offers but if you uh, yeah it's it, my point my offer was 2.5 however he won it with 3.5 uh, so I think he's one of the big names in Turkish uh, NFT community, I would say. Uh, and then let's go to his uh, account and double check if he actually has a board app as our system suggests. And here you see it. And then there is this guy with three uh, board app and four uh, ninjas owned. Let's go and check if the system is double check if the system is working, functioning uh, properly. Yeah, this is space tarzan uh let's check the board apes again this one this one and this one he these are the three board apes he has and he also has many uh kennel clubs etc as i mentioned in the blue chip comparison part if these people like big names have many ninjas uh, it's going to bring more attention to the nft project that we are watching let's check another collection i'm just going to go back to nftinit.com and in nftinit.com i will maybe check turf plots in turf plots if you go to the holder comparison you will see that actually more apes are aping into this, this project right so you see that there are more apes who are uh, mutual owners so it probably uh, means that they have a little bit more exposure to the NFT community. I'm talking for uh, Truth Plops because this is a, these are where the big names are. We can also compare them with like CryptoPunks. You see, like maybe you want to compare them with, uh, maybe let's just compare it with a smaller uh, but stable collection such as Mebits. You see, actually, there are many Mebits, Mebits interested in this project. And still you can go back to 
blue chip comparison and see the other projects like for instance loot for adventures have the most mutual owners and they have many uh, total items owned in turf plots this will give you a good indication and then let's switch back to ninjas and go to charts this one shows you the historical price chart so uh, one issue with uh, OpenSea is OpenSea actually doesn't show you the historical prices what you see here is the average price chart right so this is not the floor price uh, average price might be high here because maybe that, that they a couple of very expensive nfts were sold however this doesn't actually tell you that the uh, what the price uh, floor price was at that point so here you can see how uh, ninja squad nft has been doing historically as you see there was a quite pump here then maybe there was some tests here however this trend looks somewhat stable then there is the floor strength in floor strength you see how many nfts are listed in what price range so here you see like nine nfts are listed in between 0.33 and 0.36 in this range there is five nfts in this range there is three nfts and actually if uh, so right now the floor price was how much let's check the floor price is 0.3 about 0.3 actually let's go and double check it here ninja squad yeah it is 0.3 so uh what what we see here is if actually these many nfts get sold which is 9 plus 5 14 17 19 and 21 actually floor is going to reach 0.49 which is actually a quite big leap a quite big increase in floor price right so even though the price is 0.3 now it is quite thin it also uh, makes sense to you to use this tool if you are going to sweep the floor because actually this is not so many nfts with just buying 20 nfts here you can make the floor price jump from 0.3 to 0.5 and also this uh, there are the whales also look at this kind of analytics and then they look for projects which has gaps in between the floor price so because they think like you know what if i'm going to buy 20 nfts the floor price is going to almost double so this might be a good project to invest that's what they think anyway let's go and check the owners here you see how the owner count is doing according to me in a, a healthy nft project the owner count should be more than 35 percent at least 35 percent of the total sub supply what i mean by that is uh, for instance there is 8.9 let's say let's assume there was uh, 10,000 supply here to make the mathematical calculation a little bit better I would like to see at least 3.5 thousand owners. So Ninja Squad official actually fits in that criteria. But I would be more skeptic if there was only let's say 300 or 500 or even a thousand owners. Because then if so many people has so many NFTs in one single NFT collection, it makes the collection more open to manipulation. I mean it at any point like you know you don't know what happens in their life they might change their mind about nfts they might get pissed off the creators of the nft collection and if they list all their nfts then what we saw here about the floor strength is going to be quite hard to break so however if there are many owners like in this case uh, it's the project is going to be overall more healthy and then let's see the nfts per owners so what you see here is 1832 people actually hold one nft however there is this people uh, so there's this guy who is holding 240 uh, nfts in this single collection so actually this is connected to, to what i explained uh, just now i would like to see many people holding either one or maybe two three nfts at most if there are people that are holding like 5000 2000 4000 uh, nfts it actually possesses a risk so this is a healthy table what you see here and in top owners tab we have a similar analysis of what we just discussed in nfts per owner but here in more detail you see which wallets are holding the most tokens then there is the active listing tabs here you see a sudden drop uh, what happened is OpenSea yesterday night uh, unfortunately all of a sudden changed its api 
and all the production stopped for many analytical tools just like ourselves we implemented the fix it took us almost like an hour we were quite fast to respond to it but here you see actually there is a jump so disregard it uh, but i'm going to explain what is going on here anyway uh, active listings is the listings that are nfts that are being listed or being listed for sale right now so if you see the active listings numbers going up uh, it will mean that people are more willing to say however if you are seeing active listings going down people are either delisting or people are not listing them again uh, after their initial listings time expires let's check the listings the listings actually are extremely important maybe it's one of the most important uh, charts here because it tells you what is going on in a project so you see there is a jump here and then there are some little movements here actually these are not that important but obviously there is something happened here so you might not be able to follow each and every discord right and you can't possibly know what is going on in all of the nft collections however this table tells you that something either has just happened or something is about to happen what i mean by that is you see people are delisting here it means that there is an expectation that probably the floor price is going to go up that might be because of an announcement that might be because of an expectation of an of an announcement or maybe there is something else like maybe a big name like Murat Pak or one of the well-known uh, crypto investors said that he's interested in this collection. And then people actually thought that uh, if that guy is interested in our collection, then his followers are also going to be interested in our collection. And therefore, the floor price is going to go up and maybe I should delist my listing, which is on the floor price right now. This is all an expectation scheme, but this table actually shows you the expectation of people. Uh, you know how the economy works if you have taken a econ 101 or a, a similar lecture uh, in the school but it's all about expectations crypto nft is or whatever so this is a very important chart in order to measure the expectations of the nft holders and then there is volume there is then there is sales these are talking for themselves is they are very obvious and there is the average price and the market cap so this is actually what we have built so far. There is more charts coming here. There are more analyzes coming here in this page. As I mentioned, you can just switch here on and off. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Just let's, let's go to board app yacht club and then uh, let's switch to analyzes. Well, actually they have been going down, right? Even board app went down to 68 Ethereum. Now they are back to 75, but compared to here, they were almost 120 ethereum uh, their floor price was this and ra right now they are down to 68 now they are back to 75 but they are still quite low compared to this point at the, uh, the first of february yeah this is pretty much all as i mentioned we are going to add a lot more stuff here a lot more analysis maybe some summary analysis uh, and some real life graphics of the sales and listings and cancellations but anyway i think this is enough for this video if you have any questions feel free to join to our discord and that's pretty much all uh, happy trades happy flips everyone